For the first time ever, oh, there's something on my lens. Ah. <sighs> okay, so for the first time ever, I saw a big cave, and honestly, the first like instant that I actually saw it, I felt this like fear inside of me. It's so strange. I don't really think I'm. That's a lie. I am slightly claustrophobic, and. One of my biggest fears is to be buried alive, so maybe that's where that's rooted in. But I just really wasn't expecting to have that feeling when I saw this big old hole in the earth. And right now I can only go so far in because I'm not currently on a tour, but I'm gonna, gonna be on a tour tomorrow. But it was still just crazy to see the historic entrance. And I got some good shots while there because it's pretty much almost winter. It's fall right now and it's not really the season for seeing this national park. So I kind of had it to myself for the most part. Some people would pop in and out, but I feel like I got some pretty nice pictures without anyone in them, which is ideal. It is 10 p.m. and I am pretty tired after this long day of exploring Mammoth Caves National Park and driving five hours to get there. I am currently in an Airbnb. It's called the Bear Bungalow. It's super freaking cute. It's a tiny home that's on a couple's property and it seems kind of sketchy to be staying on someone else's property while they're still there, but this couple is extremely nice. Um, when I arrived, they greeted me and they're very hospitable and I feel perfectly safe. And this little tiny home is so accommodating and warm and cozy and I am so ready to sleep. I'm probably gonna journal a little bit, maybe read and then knock the out so I can wake up early and explore some more and then tomorrow what's kind of cool is I'm gonna go zip lining. I've never gone zip lining before but that's what's on the itinerary for tomorrow along with a cave tour so tomorrow's gonna be adventurous. I'll see you then. It is about 6 30 in the morning. I swear there's a fly dying in here or something. I could hear it screaming for its life. But I'm pretty much ready. I put on my layers. It's frosty outside. My car looks frosty from the window and that is concerning because that means it's friggin' cold out there. But I'm up and I'm just about ready to go. It is ridiculously frosty. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm just gonna put water on this. So I just finished hiking about two or three miles or so. It's 10 o'clock. I really just took my time, took a bunch of pictures and videos for you guys. And now I am kind of just hanging out until zip lining at 11. And I don't know, I'm just doing this trip. I've had this thought repeatedly in my head over and over again of how magical going somewhere alone is. And not because you feel like a badass for being alone and surviving the wild by yourself but because you're doing something solely because you want to do it not because of anyone else and you're doing 
what you want to do ultimately, which is so empowering and I love it. And being here, going on this trip, going on other solo trips, I just have this reoccurring feeling of I'm doing what I want to do. This is my life. I'm in control of my life. And if I want something, I can just let myself have it. That's a Halloween town quote. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. And I don't know, things just feel magical right now. So now, zip lining. It's crazy because the funnest part is about to begin. And yeah. You have your time? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. After zip lining, it was finally time for me to get inside of Mammoth Cave via a cave tour. And although the lighting was very hard to film in, the cave itself was so freaking beautiful. And one thing I'll never forget is when the tour guide turned all the lights off and we got to experience the true darkness of the cave. It was incredible. I felt like my eyes were closed even though they were wide open and it's a feeling I'll never forget. Being inside of this cave also really challenged me as a photographer because there was no flash photography allowed and no tripods. So when I lowered my shutter speed, I had to shoot with my hand and this right here is the best shot that I got. I really like it, but I wish I had gotten a better shot. Maybe one day I'll come back after I've refined my skills. But with that being said, this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And until next time, bye.